Before getting deep into the matter, technically, I would like to brief what does the word sixth sense stand for. The sixth sense refers to the ability of something uh, to sense. Besides using our five natural senses, which we have already covered, scientists believe that the sixth sense is the ability of sensing the occurrences that take place in the electromagnetic field which surrounds the earth. This ability of sensing is quite evident in animal world too. And how, for example, and how about going a cat or a dog crazy before 30 minutes or one hour uh, at the time of tsunami or the storm hits? Because they could sense due to the barometrical pressures uh, which are happening in the electromagnetic field, they do feel something different is going to happen. They may not know what exactly will happen, but they could sense. So this ability is entirely possible in the human world also. In the age of science and technology, using this sixth sense, and many wonders are taking place every day. We have evolved over millions of years to sense the world around us. When we encounter a person, a place, or something, we obtain information using our five senses. And the information which we have obtained through our senses help us to take the right decision and which eventually lands up in taking the right action. But arguably, the most useful information is perceived by our five senses through the ages which the mankind has accumulated is increasingly available on online now. Though the miniaturization of computers and helps us to carry it with us everywhere, wherever we are going, and it keeps us continually connected with the digital world outside, but the information is strictly confined with traditionally on paper or digitally on the screen. But the sixth sense bridges the gap. It's bringing out the intangible digital information into the digital world, tangible world. The sixth sense enables us to interact with information using our gestures. Thus, the system enables us to integrate seamless information without much difficulty. And we can interact with reality and thus making the whole world our computer. The system is comprised of a mini projector, a mirror and a camera. The hardware components are completely dependent like a wearable mobile device. Both the projector and the camera are connected to the mobile computing device which is in the user's pocket. And having this device in him, with him and he wherever he goes, he can interact with reality using his plain gestures. This system basically tracks the, four, the movement of four fingers. The user wears four simple markers on his fingers. If you want to have more stylish version, and we can paint our nails with the different colors. The camera basically tracks the gestures and recognizes the information which the user is trying to make out. And he can go up to any surface or any place and he using his 
playing gestures, he sends information to the system. For example, and the system is able to recognize and identify the iconic messages. For example, if he goes to the beach and if he feel gestures, uh, the zooming out of the beach or the zooming in, and immediately the system clicks the picture and he can go back to his lab and reproduce the picture in any of the surface. And he can resize it, reorganize it, or sort out the picture which he has already taken out. But this is quite different from the Microsoft Surface table. The major difference is this is highly portable. And here the interactor, the user, is using his plain hands, only gestures. No other electronic gadgets are employed or used now. If we go to a supermarket wearing this device in his bedroom and if he select a product and soon after picking a product, the uh, blinking of color, uh, the light, green light or orange light, take, guides him to take a right option. We can uh, have further information about the product. If the user goes to a bookstore and picks a book and the details of the book appears on its cover. The information, the additional information subjects, the author of the book, the rating of the book, and the most famous criticism of the book, and his most famous annotations of the book are appearing in front of itself. And he can immediately identify more about the book. If he reads a newspaper, the video recording of the event is also available. And on the way to airport, and if you are picking the um, boarding pass with us, and it just shows the uh, details about the departure, the time schedule of the flight, the arrival and the departure details immediately appears. So if he wants to know the time and he can simply draw a dial on his wrist and he can know the time. So this is very miraculous things using this technology sixth sense. And in short, the sixth sense technology would give us seamless access to various informations which we come across in our daily life. In short, it is not an exaggeration to say that sixth sense, through this sixth sense technology, the entire mankind is going to be benefited in multivarious ways and quite in short, this is the highly very prodigious. Yes, you also interact using natural gestures, both hands, etc. 
But the difference here is that you can use any surface. You can walk up to any surface, including your hand, if nothing else is available, <laughs> and interact with this projected data. The device is completely portable and can be... <laughs>